Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. With us today, we are joined by Scott Hansing with Inspect One Home Inspections. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm really happy you're here today because we're going to talk about a topic near and dear to my heart, is, and that is the home inspection. And Scott's going to help us navigate the, the process a little bit. So Scott, um, say I'm a buyer looking to buy my first, second, or fifth home. Uh, I want to have it inspected. What do you really look for? or what do you, What's covered if someone were to call you up and say, hey, I need this inspection? What do you do? Well, first of all, we always strive to do a very thorough inspection. I mean, that's the number one thing that buyers want is they want to know everything about the house. Um, I think you could break it down into the five major components. And there's many components below those also, but the roof, Obviously, everyone yep. wants to know about the roof. Uh, the structure, that's one that people don't want to get, uh, you know, they don't want to find a home or buy a home that has a, a major foundation issue or some major structural issue because that can be kind of spendy to correct if they need to. Right. Uh, plumbing systems, electrical systems, and then HVAC. And then, as I was saying earlier, obviously... What, what does HVAC mean? HVAC, that? sorry about that. Uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. So basically whatever type of heating plant you have in the house, whether it be a boiler or gas door, gas air furnace, okay. um, and then the air conditioning system. So okay. that's HVAC. And then below those, obviously, you talk about plumbing or electrical, you're talking about plumbing fixtures, tubs, bathrooms, but those would be the five major components that we look at, and then we have a, an additional, uh, you know, windows, siding, things like that. Okay. So someone schedules the inspection, how long does it generally take and what can they expect to like take away from it? Couple answers to that question. First of all, the full process for a standard home, and there's a lot of difference. I mean, whether it's a thousand square foot home versus a 6,000 square foot home. I mean, obviously the larger the home, the more time it's probably gonna take. Um, but basically, I usually get there ahead of the buyer so I'll be there for an hour and a half, two hours, going through the house, taking notes. When the buyer shows up or the, the home buyer shows up, then we spend anywhere from an hour to two hours going over the results of that. So typically, the buyer's time at the property is a couple hours. I plan on a couple hours. A couple hours, okay. Yep. And then when, when, when it's done, you go over it and, and everything. Do they have like a report or anything that you give them? Or do you email them something to kind of... Well, my process is, as I mentioned earlier, is I get there early, I take all my notes, take all my pictures, so when I get there, I'm ready to give them results. I sit down at a table or a countertop with, with the buyer or the buyers, um, go over all the pictures I took. That way, up front, they know what's going on with the property. When we're done going over the pictures, then we actually walk back through every room of the house, through the basement, around the outside, we go over any adverse conditions that we might have noted during the inspection, give them a chance to ask any questions, go over maintenance tips, things like that. Yep. Um, and like I said, that usually takes a couple hours for the, as far as so the buyers. So when you're done, you're, they're gonna have a really good idea you know, oh, yeah. of the health of the home, right? Correct, and we follow that up with a written report. So okay. they have something in writing to take with them. And I know as a, as a real estate agent, you know, I've done hundreds of transactions, right? And every one of them is unique. What a uh, you know, question we'll get a lot, you know, is, you know, what does this cost, right? And, and, and that answer is so subjective, right? I mean, I, like, it's really hard to, to say, well, I know that, okay, the roof is bad and, you know, it's gonna cost you $20,000, right? I mean, it's, it's really kind of up to, like, the agent and the buyers to work on getting estimates, right? Because you can't go be in the business of just, like, quoted prices. For right, so you're talking about the cost of a repair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might yes, come up with. yes. Well, obviously there's a huge, uh, huge range of costs in, say, a roof, for instance, depending on the size of the roof, the type of the roofing material, the season that it's done in. And there's differences between contractors, as you know. Um, some contractors are more expensive than others. So I always encourage people, if this is going to make a decision on the buying process, to work with their realtor and to get actual bids to find out exactly what it's going to cost. I always try and give people a ballpark yeah. you know, uh, estimate. 
but it's range. But if it's going to affect their buying decision, they really need to get an actual cost estimate from a contractor. Yeah, and, and I, I know, like particularly with roofs. I mean, there could be um, there could be insurance that the seller has that might be able to cover it. And there's even cases where you know, sellers have filed a claim on their insurance. <laughs> And taken the money, but not done the repairs. We do see that from time yeah, to time. Yeah, so I don't want to get into the weeds too much, but it's just another thing to be aware of. You know, if you do find you, you know, that the shingle has deterioration or visible signs of water, I mean, th there could be a there or there that, and and as you peel back the onion, you find things that you, maybe you didn't assume. So, um, Scott, so we brought up the the question of cost. Uh, what is a ballpark? What your services cost in terms of like, doing a buyer's inspection? Again, it's going to depend on the type of property, um, the size of the property, location of the property. If it's in the Twin Cities area, uh, a standard size home, you can expect to the cost of the inspection to be around $400, give or take $50. Yep. Um, obviously, if we're talking about a, a 6,000 square foot home somewhere versus a you know 800 square right. foot home, there's going to be a difference. <laughs> so, and right. then there's add-on inspections that people are doing nowadays, like radon testing, um, sewer line inspections, and things like that, that would add to the cost of the inspection. But the basic inspection for a standard size home in the Twin Cities, figure around 400, but we'll always give people uh, a quote. You know, in advance. Right, yeah. right. Okay. We'll look it up online, look at the property online, and let them know what the actual cost will be. Yeah, because another thing is like you know, chimney inspections too, right? Cause Correct. Because it's very specialized. And, That's and, another one that people are doing nowadays. Yeah, yeah. And um, you, know, you talk with your, your, your real estate agent, your trusted advisors, what you should or shouldn't get inspected. Because people have different risk tolerance. And, you know, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole too far. But, you know, if you know you're getting a, a great deal, you still may want to do the inspections, even if you don't ask for stuff. Like, you don't necessarily need to use... Uh, the inspection to get your pound of flesh from a seller, um, you know, that's not, in my opinion, necessarily what it's for. It's for you to understand what, you know, what you know about the house and getting a, a really good diagnostic report, like getting your, your annual physical, right? Right. Uh, and, and, and deciding, hey, is, is what I'm getting um, still a good value based on what I'm paying with the new information available? Well, I can promise you when we're done with the inspection that the the buyer knows what's right and what's wrong with them. Right, right. They and sometimes they may know more than the seller. You know, I've found that absolutely, good, you know, absolutely. Like, you know, I know when I um, you know, I, I've recently, oh, I guess not re that recently, but uh, I've bought and sold several homes. You know, some that I had as investments, and every time that buyer's inspector came through, I would learn something about the house. You know, so they're, they're really to me, it's a, it's. It, Unless it's a rare exception, that it's a must-have. It's a must-do. So, uh, so someone say someone wants to know more uh, about a buyer's inspection and the services you provide. What's the best way for them to contact you, Scott? Easiest way is to call or text 952-707-1111 or www.inspect1.com. Awesome. Either awesome. way. Cool. Well, thanks for uh, coming in today and, and helping us provide some, some clarity on this topic. I'm Scott McCark with Verde Real Estate Group, and if you want to get a hold of us, like always, the number is 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888, call or text, or as always, online 24-7 at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been valuable, and like always, if you want further assistance, please let us know. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.